hey guys welcome back to my channel move on to my hospital bag so basically um what's in my hospital bag right now i showed you the bag has two segments one side has my toiletries and then the other side has the things that i'll wear so i'll start off with the side that has my toiletries so this is the foldable toiletry bag that I'll be bringing. Okay, just leave it. Just, just leave it there. This is the <laughs> foldable toiletry bag that I'll be bringing. I'll go through everything in each segment really quickly. Okay, hand sanitizer, uh, Listerine mouthwash. Garnier micellar, micellar water, I don't know how you say, you say it, for makeup removal. <sighs> Sensodyne toothpaste that's already used up. What? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and then a new toothbrush. And then I also have a cover for the toothbrush, which I bought today, that I'll probably add into this. Next is my Mitchum triple odor defense i had to move to mention once i got pregnant because odor and sweat became real tmi i know it is what it is um three three in one nivea face wash dove bar soap which i'll use to wash my body because i don't have time for um what do you call it shower gel that just takes forever to wash off my pons a light moisturizer non oily stop non oily face lotion wait you can hold here you can hold here you can hold this so long yeah and then and then i took um nivea hand cream because i wanted a smaller portion of the lotion that i use so i'll be using this hand cream <laughs> as body lotion and then i have this small <laughs> I'm so oh my gosh what are you eating what are you eating okay um, lanolin um, nipple cream which I got but I obviously have a bigger one at home this is just for the hospital <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is the last segment it's about to get real because there's a lot of interesting things just wait sit baby sit sit Nana sit sit <gasps> okay good girl a small hairbrush for my hair a finer tooth comb for styling my hair. Um, I have my Prego Mega prenatal vitamins. I have my cotton balls, which I'll use with my micellar water to remove makeup. I have three pairs of breast pads because nipple cream really will stain your bra and leave like that Vaseline type of thing on it. Don't have time for that. I have makeup removing wipes in case now I can't yeah in case I use that instead of the micellar water and then I have intimate clicks intimate wipes for obvious reasons gets messy after birth and then I have a whole lot of these which I'll probably only bring like two which will be for my hair because I probably want my hair tied back I haven't decided on the hair do that I'll do yet. And that's basically everything that's in the sections of this. <laughs> the rest of my toiletries. I decided not to bring a loofah or any of that. I'm going to bring cloths. So I got this face cloth. Purple. And then this um, will be the cloth that I'll use for my body. And then this towel. I got all of these acumens as well. That I'll be using to dry myself. And then as pads, adult 
nappies basically they're huge it's like huge this will make sure that there's no leakage there's no staining and i will wear these until my period calms down and it's less heavy because it's a masaka after birth so that's my toiletries next on to my blankets and clothing Okay, so now this is everything I'm packing in my hospital bag. So basically, this is everything that will be in my hospital bag. Okay, so I'll start off with the blanket. This is the warm blanket I'm going to bring. They do ask you to bring your own warm blanket in the hospital because, you know, they cover you in sheets that are literally cold. Like, and then I brought these slippers with me. They have open toes because I do sweat. I remember getting hot, like really, really, really hot last time. So open toes slippers. I got two pairs of fluffy socks like this. Don't know where the other pair is. Probs, my daughter did something with it while I was busy here now. And then I got one warm night sleepwear that has buttons for breastfeeding. One I bought because I bought like three of these last time and I was just sweating every day and literally they were full of sweat that I couldn't repeat them. And this time around, I bought one in case it's cold, but I highly doubt it. Um, my other sleepwear will be these shorts. And they have a matching vest with them. That's up, like, that's the first night. Because usually they want you to get there the day before your operation. So that's probably what I'll sleep in that first day. Because it's really, really, really hot. And then I also got... This night dress, also from Ackermans. Um, I took the V scoop because it'll be easy for breastfeeding and the no arms so that they can take my blood pressure, stick needles into me easily without me having to pull down things and stuff. And then the gown that I'm bringing is this cute ensemble. It's black and it's got like pinkish flamingos. I also got this from Ackermans, lightweight, and it'll offer me the coverage that I need. I'll wear it with my shorts and my nighty if I need to. And then in case, not that I think I'll need them, but I bought them in case. Um, these huge, sexy granny panties that are mouth-watering. So that if I do wear them, they go over the C-section scar and not touch it. If you wear panties that touch a C-section scar, you're going to be in hell. I did that the, the, um, the last time with my daughter and I told myself this time around, not happening. Mm. Um, they do give you pads at the hospital. But like I said before, I'm using the adult diapers. And then I got two of these um, nursing bras. Well, they're not really nursing, but they're like a sports bra. They're from Mr. Price. These are really comfortable. I bought these after last time and I just like lived in them so this is what i'll be using i'll just pop the nipple out and feed i don't see the point of buying those really expensive bras for breastfeeding only for breastfeeding nah fam and yeah so the only thing that's missing basically from my hospital bag um i've highlighted everything that i still need to pack in this book of mine it'll be my id my husband's id and a folder that will have like all the forms and things that I'll be given and I'll need to sign. And I'm bringing our ID so that we can get her name, get his name in the home affairs, whatever. My cell phone, my charger, and a, an adapter. Um, my basic makeup, I will be bringing makeup. Literally an eyeliner, liquid liner for a cat eye, brows, and that's that. That's the only makeup we'll be doing. Um, coins in my wallet. For the machine to buy little snacks um, i'll also be packing snacks for myself which um will be your <sighs> what are these things called man these bars jungle oats bars jungle oats bars pringles um breastfeeding or breast milk cookies um as well as eat some moles because i love those and stony stony helps with milk supply um, a water bottle I'll still bring and a pillow which I'll probably just take from my bed and just go with it to the hospital 
um sourced the makeup bag like i said and then a mirror in the makeup bag so i can do my makeup in bed if i need to because you know it gets difficult when you're in hospital so that's basically everything in my hospital bag thank you guys for watching like i said i'm gonna write everything below with all the prices everything that i can um there's not not much links that i'll be doing because online shopping pe doesn't work <laughs> but you get the gist everything mostly i got from ackermans and um, like I said, it was tough buying and getting everything because of this whole coronavirus shutdown. I literally had to get everything two days before the shutdown because we were told like, hey, in two days time, we're closing down. So I'm happy that I got everything. Oh, and the last thing that I didn't pack was my going home outfit. Whatever I go to the hospital with is what I'll come home with. I'm not going to stress about that now. I literally take care of it on the day. It probably will be a long dress, comfortable shoes, and a bomber jacket. Because ain't nobody got time for pants with a C-section. You will cry. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.